the moment something goes wrong the first thing most believers think about is um which of my certificates can solve this problem which connection i know is a simple thing i, I can manage it small pain there i know i'm just waiting my my brother is a doctor somewhere can i tell you the truth the days that we are in now are days of high level spirituality where this is why you can see you can see what happens our medical people here will tell you you can find someone not taking in what is the reason everything that should make for pregnancy is there and yet it does not happen demons are telling you that if it's advancement we've tasted this long ago over dependence on the strength of the flesh submit your prayer request for prayer no my uncle just became chairman of one board somewhere and god is watching you and saying except the lord builds a house they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over the city the watchmen watch it but in vain thank god for posters thank god for billboards thank god for all of these things but none of them has the power in themselves to draw intelligent people to god's presence it takes that anakazo the compelling power of the spirit to cause men to leave their homes to come and sit in your ministry who do you think you are human beings are not stupid john wesley says set yourself on fire and the whole world will come and watch you burn can i tell you i know there is e everything but there is no e fire mm -mm. if it is fire it must be right there you must set it and the impact must be felt there over dependence can i tell you we are people who value knowledge we are people who value all of the provisions that our times have made for us but when I go before God, I don't go and say, Lord, we have this, we have... Mm -mm, mm -mm. There is something about the power of God and, the, and, the, and dependence. Dependence. A mic can amplify your voice, but it cannot impart the anointing. philosophies volumes and volumes of intellectual dissertations that do not have the power to transform you will finish talking intelligently and raise an altar call and half of the congregation is full of sinners and not one person will come out someone just trolls out out of pity ah. i made up my mind that I would never stand on any pulpit and just, just talk stories. And sometimes, you know, a sermon is going and people can even be distracted. Somebody is gisting and saying, instead of listening to this guy wasting our time, let's at least be discussing the, let's use the opportunity and quickly discuss the business on Monday. Go and read your Bible and see what happened in the past when preachers were preaching. There were people who were passing. They were not part of the people there. The power of God will hook them up like a and keep them there. Preachers, let's return back to the place of dependence. Thank God for all of these things. No man can build any ministry, not by any formula. Thank God for principles here and there. I do not negate them principles of excellence principles of this but let me tell you presence supersedes principles principles only work when presence is in place over dependence on the strength of the flesh giving credit to men giving credit to the flesh That is the reason why when God wants to make such statement, he leaves ordinary people like us and puts us there as a statement to say this treasure that is so earthen 
but there is the excellency of power you know so that the excellency of power might be of God and not of us Zechariah chapter 1 verse 3 let's hurry up Zechariah 1 verse 3 therefore say thou unto them thus saith the lord of hosts turn ye unto me saith the lord of hosts and i will turn unto you can i tell you don't expect god to turn to you if you have not turned to him you turn to him as a sign of your desperation as a sign of your desperation there is there is nothing so there is nothing as powerful as a believer coming to god and saying lord thank god for all these things i have my business connections thank god for the intelligence i have degrees i have all of this but i stand before you oh god and i acknowledge that if you do not open a door in this abuja that door will not be open if you do not open a door it will not be open and god says in spite of all these things you still have the sense to look unto me now the bible says they looked unto him and their faces were lightened do you know why several people especially in this season continue to fall victims of shame and the rest in spite of whatever qualifications i will tell you why because when god wants to use people he uses you in a way that all men will see that it is his power at work in you and if for any reason you have the tendency of pushing him in front of the stage light you will not do business with god over dependence on the strength of the flesh over dependence we have to repent of this pride not just men of god i tell you this this our generation is so arrogant building of empires it is by my strength every man was a baby in the hand of a woman one day we have to be careful there is the god who sits the monarch of the universe and we must be careful let our preachers let's be careful as god keeps doing mighty things through our lives we must be careful let members know we are men it's just that we are of god this this system of self-glorification there is a difference between honor and pride go and read your bible and see what happened to people who refused to acknowledge god we give you the highest the highest praise to the king I give you the loudest, yeah. I lift my holy hands. I give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. I give you worship, worship. You have taken all the pain you have taken all the sorrows you have taken all limitations you have taken all the tears you have made them yours listen lesson number one this night if you want God to use you this year let your knees be close to the ground when men clap for you and say you built this house in two months you bought this house 500 million like buying a recharge card the moment you want the devil to help and massage your back satan kills don't forget he's a thief he will first clap for you before he kills you may this be the year where god will heal through you man of god and when people begin to idolize you you say listen i thank god for using me but let me tell you sincerely there is one who is mightier than i am i'm only a vessel over dependence business people let me encourage you the person talking to you is not stupid god gave us brains that is true but there is something about depending on him 
God knows that I depend on him this ministry depends on him for everything we may not know everything it takes to succeed from a psychological standpoint from a, from an intellectual standpoint and we will continue to learn but can I tell you and the Lord walking with them that was the secret confirming the word with signs following you think technology can turn HIV uh, positive to negative just like that thank God for the advancement in medicine and gynecology and all of these things have you not seen people who have tried everything and yet no child this is a message God is speaking to someone already the day you stop depending on your power can I tell you go and carry your certificate go and carry your your real estate company registration drop it on the ground and say Lord you are exalted above it you are exalted above it you are exalted. carry your ID card I know you work with World Bank I know you work with all drop it on the ground and say Lord I depend on you let the mockers laugh at you while you are depending on him and he continues to lift you we give you worship worship the highest praise to the king we give you worship worship the highest praise to the king we bow down we bow down the deepest worship to the king we lift up holy hands read your bible and see why god honored solomon so much there's no time i would have shown you there are two reasons why god lifted solomon one was because of his sacrifice but two was because of the nature of his dependence in asking for god gave him a a blank check what do you want including your enemies he did not say give me wisdom go and read it he said lord are you see you know the kind of person you have called as limited as i am like this I am unable to lead this your people so please grant unto your servant an understanding heart and the bible says it please the lord he said because you have not asked for this or the life of your enemies of this and that and that you have asked for understanding to discern judgment he said i will give you verse 12 now says i will give you all of these things and understanding heart so that there is no man like you that in in addition to this I will give you the things you have not asked for both riches and honor that means riches and shame can go together dependence apostle I just got an award I came back from Harvard I'm the best student it's impossible for Nigeria to reject me <laughs> You go and read about your country someone can be in his room just crying and say Lord this is not self-condemnation I hope you understand what I'm teaching you yes carry everything when go and learn the mystery of the worship of the elders the 24 elders did they have to remove their crowns to worship why didn't they worship with their crowns i thought the most important part of worship is your knees go and learn from them your knees are useless until your crown is on the ground many of us are kneeling down with our crown and god is saying so who is king now We pray that God will raise extremely successful people who will teach the nations dependence that when people are asking you and say how did you build this thing you can tell them all the principles and then wrap up by saying can I tell you there are gaps in this equation that even me I don't know the answer I just know that one plus one was there 
wisdom plus divine direction plus relationships plus diligence plus discipline plus God equal to my answer many times people try to ask me the secrets of this the secrets of that and I share with them principles I share with you principles but from the beginning to the end of my sharing I can tell you that there are gaps in our knowledge that only the size of God can fill. Preacher, you will not build a church just by principles. You can be the most sincere person with character and integrity and nobody will still come to your church. You can preach truth, heaven, hell, rapture, doctrine with soundness of scripture and remain there as if God did not call you. I am undone before your glorious majesty. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and lords of lord you are the king you are the lord your royal majesty listen let me teach you something that i do in the night sometimes don't just worship god by lying down on the ground <clears throat> one of the ways that you worship god is to worship him in the presence of what wants your worship it's a powerful mystery i don't just worship god alone like that sometimes i carry every a representation of everything that looks like accolades we all worship together whatever wants my worship must join me in worshiping god that is one of the ways to overcome the temptation of worshiping things so if it is your wallet i'm not saying idolize it your id card your promotion letter don't lie down and leave it on the table lie down with it lord this is what you have done for me and someone is calling you and saying you are now the ceo tell them wait but you are wasting time this is how i became the ceo please <laughs> Sujada ne nakao Sirkin salama Can I tell you this? Let me give you an assignment by God. Every home and every individual try to take at least a day in this week. If you can't do it with your family, do it alone this busy busy hustling going up and down trying to do this you sit down in someone to the front of someone's office from morning till night and then they drive you again come back listen 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 sometimes we need to go back and just worship we are a people of prayer but we must also be a people of worship it is not just prayer alone learn worship if you can't sing let something sing for you that's the importance of technology give technology the assignment to sing for you and join you as you worship your maker and you bow before him and say lord it is because of you i am here and while you are saying it your wallet is hearing your atm is hearing you force them to join in that worship and god says this is for me now let me do for you what you cannot do for yourself you are done with that worship you pick up your phone and see missed calls and text messages and you are wondering this man i've been trying to call believe what i'm teaching you i will not waste your time this night these are these are mysteries you want to command results that will preach to a territory next sunday's miracle service People are coming with all kinds of burdens. I'm not a herbalist. How in the world do you think you are going to touch people and pray from here and people all over the world get healed, get blessed? Let me tell you, after I'm done praying, this ground is a blessing. You roll there and say, oh God, 
who but you is able to heal and bless and help and lift and in that atmosphere of worship that shekinah just comes to mantle you and it's like electricity from head to toe and head to toe and there are all kinds of impartations yours is just to stay there you come out of that atmosphere the only thing that comes from you is fire from head to toe preachers i'm not i'm not you can't sit down and watch a movie by morning and quickly just get up and take your bath and come for a miracle service and say, after all is jesus doing it did you tell him you know he's the one doing it i will lay down my idols and thrones i have made and all that has taken my heart Lord, I will bow to you to no other God but you. We have to rush. Please sit down. Key number one that has stopped believers from experiencing the mighty hand of God over dependence on the strength of the flesh if most people will pray and study their bible and worship one tenth with one tenth of the passion they used to run around humans for help they will not be in the same position there can i tell you everything you get minus god will kill you no matter how important it is to you if you have to drop god to get it it's only a matter of time yeshua hamashiach komina nakane yeshua hamashiach komina nakane everything belongs to you belongs to you fathers don't go to your house and bully your wives and children and say listen i built this house if i were stupid this house would not be built god says ah okay maintain it hmm. children i'm the one taking care of the parents don't talk to me anyhow it's my money i can stop sponsoring you and you wake up by morning and that hand that you used to lift against your parents because of what you are giving does not lift again and God says heal yourself there is nothing as ugly as self-righteousness trying to believe that it is just it is just by merit it is true that there is a price for these dimensions but can I tell you the truth we have to let the world know you see the regions that have rejected Jesus for technology. This is not the first time men are rejecting Jesus for other things. They rejected Jesus and chose Barabbas. If people can reject Jesus and choose crime, only God knows what else they can reject him for. Crucify him, they said. Give us Barabbas. We know he's a thief, but we choose him to Jesus. People have chosen technology to Jesus. People have chosen education to Jesus. People have chosen the philosophies of men to Jesus. And you see the catastrophe that is happening around the world today. Because by the strength of man shall no man prevail. This earth is old. Everybody is a tenant. Some people came and passed for us to be here. They passed and they left their lessons of wisdom or foolishness. They left it behind. There is the God who is the monarch of the universe. We must return back to acknowledging Jesus publicly, directly.
many of us come from families and backgrounds where we are supposed to participate in that heritage of continuity of all these idols and the rest and those powers will not want to let you go they will appear to you people will send for you from the village and say we are still waiting you are supposed to continue this but the bible says we have been called out of every tribe tongue kindred it's a new race but you must connect to knowledge hallelujah i have seen great people who love god but out of pressure they went to consult familiar spirits respectfully speaking preachers business people they don't have to necessarily be evil can i tell you do not allow any kind of pressure push you to invite satan to your life for help satan does not help men he only destroys apostle i'm in need of a child 10 15 years and someone says there's someone it's not exactly a pastor but it's not bad he really he has this thing he's a gift because a gift god gave everybody be careful some of those sociological things i know it's not easy but we must obtain grace from god oh there's something i can give you it will bring members oh there's something i can give you it will bring power there's something i can give you the worst one is the one of money you look at the person who wants to bless you and you look at him and you even give him an honorarium because of how miserable he's looking how in the world is that person going to help you he's not even a kingmaker that is not kingmaker anointing that person is miserable what do you think happens to the chicken and the goat and the ram and the cow just think just think for one minute Aside from the one they bury in front of you, what do you think actually happens when you go? They just tell you, go, it is done. Then what happens? Are we together? Please, in this, this, would i call it post pandemic period we need wisdom don't allow anybody manipulate you and plunder you for nothing a native doctor that asks you to buy cow is a heartless person knowing what has happened and and is asking you what, what sort of a thing is that buy this buy that and you see people who are struggling they go and buy all these things with all kinds of promises you will get this contract and you find out that it does not happen do you know why it does not happen i will tell you even if there is a semblance of power it does not happen because the believer in christ will go there doubting an unbeliever will go with 100 do you know that it still takes faith for that thing to work so the reason why it does not work is the same reason why the prophecy in church does not work because you are half-hearted either ways the bible said let that man not think he shall receive anything while the man is doing it you want to believe but there's that fear ah jesus you died for me but you see it's it's pressure that is making me do this <laughs> how can i call on your name and end up in shame Because you are my God, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God. Help my own belief. I claim that I trust you, but it's really my uncle that I trust. I claim I trust you, but it's really my certificate that I trust. I claim I trust you, but it's really my skill, my gift. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you.
you are praying it for your destiny you are praying it so that you can command dominion lord i trust you the grace to believe you believe you for my finances believe you to open doors God is not a man that he should lie. God is not the son of man that he should repent. If he speaks, he is able to bring his word to pass. Please pray, pray. Koinonia, pray. He reigns, He reigns, He is standing by my side to bring His word to pass. He reigns, He reigns, my God is an awesome God. Listen, hear me. You need to shake off unbelief from your life today and say, Lord, I believe you. I may let everyone call me stupid, but I believe you. Let everyone mock me and laugh at me, but I believe you. I believe you. Your word is true, and I believe you. When you say I am great, I believe you. When you say I am the head, I believe you. When you say, I am not the tail, I believe you. When you say, Gentiles shall come to my light, I believe you. When you say, their kings will come to the brightness of my rising, I believe you. Listen, there are some of you in this place, God has told you you will stand before nations, but as it is, you look so weak, and you will not believe it. You don't know the village I come from. I cannot even speak English well. That's not what God is saying. Believe me and let me take you there by myself. Years ago, when God told me he was giving me access to kings and people in government, I believed him. Our very first crusade, I demanded to see and let us share fellowship with the king of the land. We didn't have the opportunity to do it the first time. Every one of our crusades that we had gone, I demanded an audience with the kings because God told me he would give me access to kings. I believe God. It's none of your business who my father is. It's none of your business who my mother is. That's not what God said. That's not the condition for his word. I believe him. The same way some of you are here. And God, you go to bed and you see yourself carrying the baton of generals. You wake up in the morning and say, it's a lie. It's not for people like us. We are the anyhow. Stop that, that ungodly talk. And say, Lord, with all humility, I believe. Let it come. I believe you. 
It was in Portal Court. I was tending to a sick, one of our sick aunties, where I was staying in 2007. I was in Port Harcourt, and she was on her sick bed. She eventually died, and I was taking care of her in the teaching hospital there. And I was there. We were running shifts, and then from the, I don't know which of the floors now, I just looked at um, the window, and all of a sudden, I was caught up in a vision. And in that vision, I saw the international headquarters of this ministry. I saw 37 flags. And I saw white men. I saw nations coming. I said, what is this? And God said, that's where you are going. I believed him. I said, let's go, oh God. Let's go. I believe you. God told me, I will never beg one king and beg any man for audience. I believed him. I believed him. I believed him. Do, can you believe God? One day I remember growing up, I told my mother, I said, do not worry about the things that are happening. One day, you will eat and never have to beg for bread again. And it will be in your lifetime. I said it. See, the righteousness of faith speaks. It does not assume. You make statements that sometimes you are afraid. My wife, right now we may be soaking Gary, but in the name of Jesus we will give to nations. And when you say the devil will speak to your ears and say, foolish man, respect yourself. My faith, it reaches out to you. I believe your word for me today my faith reaches out to you I believe I believe your word for me, your word for me today listen one day I was praying and the Lord spoke to me and said, son, I will give you a gold mine. I believed it literally. I know it may have a prophetic meaning. But I believed it literally. Until three years ago, when three kings came together to give me 18.5 hectares of a gold mine. God said it. And I believed it. See, listen, let me tell you this. This ego... And the feeling of saying, let them not say, I believe God and it was a lie. If you don't throw that thing away to stand and trust God. So what if you find out it's not God that said it? You readjust and move. This ego is why many people will not grow. God said it, but I'm ashamed. I'm afraid. Let them not laugh at me. I remember when God gave me an instruction to empty my entire finance. It was a stupid thing. It was suicidal. But I did it. And God told me I would never beg for bread in my life again. I remember it was in this ministry. God gave an instruction to empty the account of the ministry. Literally. 0.00. And I believed him. Stupidly believed him. One week after that. God brought a harvest that till tomorrow we will not recover from. But I know whom I believe. If God says I will give you a house, believe him. If God says you will feed nations, believe him. If God says you will pay the school fees of a generation, believe him. Don't believe your ATM. Let God be true and every man a liar. Please hear what I'm telling you today. This life and this destiny I stand before the God of heaven and may I be forgiven if it's a show of arrogance but there are many things one of the things that God does with me is he mandates me to declare what he said before it happens there are many things that I've said today prof said something here that really touched me um, in the morning and he said that one of his daughters 
he remembered when we were meeting those days on campus and that i said that god is bringing mantle a mantle of people for kingdom financiers and he saw his then little daughter she was rolling under the anointing and he looked at her and was wondering and he said that she got a job and within one year bought a car of over three million and he said he was surprised when god says it he would do it if he did it before he can do it again Before, if he did it before, he can do it again. He can do it again. God now. God God If he did it before, he will do it again. He When we started the Koinonia worship team, I stopped these guys for many years from going for external ministrations. And I told them, I said, do you know why? I know what God showed me about you. That days will come, you will sing and nations will sing your songs. Stay and be dealt with by the Spirit. Those days, some of them didn't understand because they wanted to go for programs and say, sit down. Sit down. Today, it's amazing the way one by one, it's already starting like droplets, but it's an avalanche. It will come and you will see the songs that come from here, songs that will mentor nations, songs of warfare, songs of victory, songs of the throne. You see, most times we don't believe men till it's too late. We we'll say, he said it too. I believe him. I believe you. That's why you see me stand to teach you. Do you know, let me confess, through confession. I, was, I had a meeting before coming here. You know, I had a meeting and then um, just briefly met with a family and then a woman before coming, preparing to come for Koinonia. And while I was preparing, I was so tired. I sat down and I didn't know which one to do, to eat or to rest. And I stood, I was so tired. And I was telling the woman, I said, my God, all I want to do now is to sleep. But I just got up. I said, I rebuked that statement. There is a generation to mentor. There are people to raise. And she said, ah, Apostle, I know you. As soon as you are done with all this talk, the zeal of the Lord that is in you, you will quickly go and prepare and stand up. And truly, you see me standing now. I'm done here and I'm counseling for hours seven in the morning i'm out of this city just to go and just perform a function do a few things and return sacrifice but that happens because god said so god promised me that he will keep me strong and vibrant i believe him you do what i do in the strength of the flesh you will not be sick you will die i say it without exaggeration you literally will fall down and you will die one day my father warned me and said, look my son, just do your best. Take out time once in a while and rest. I said, I know and I believe I will rest. But the king's business requires haste. There are destinies to be raised. There are impartations to come to nations. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I went to bed to five. It was as if I just turned my head and I checked the time. And it was morning the last thing i remember was that i was going to take there was water by the side of my bed and a drink and i remember i was preparing that in five minutes i would just turn and take a sip and i had slept it was already morning and i got up had to brush up on my notes to come why because when you are about his business he will maintain you There are things you cannot lie about, not for long. It will be clear. See, let me tell you this. God has been faithful to me. You see these hands? I have laid these hands on different sicknesses and diseases, communicable ones. I'm not supposed to be alive today based on the things and the people I have touched.
you must believe God. God told me, forget about cars and houses, focus on me. I've raised men already to do that for you. I remember when someone came and met me to give me a car. I was happy and God said, it's not your car. Just pray for him and let him carry his car and go. I wanted to say, God, the next time you will give me a lift. But I was happy. Do you believe what I share with you? Can you spare me five more minutes? Are you tired? I know you are tired. You are just passionate. But listen, let me tell you this. You must love tomorrow more than today to enter that tomorrow. If you love your today more than tomorrow, the door has closed. Closed by you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When I was in secondary school and the fire of God fell upon us, we started a prayer group and a prayer movement called Operation Katakus. Yes. We would pray sometimes immediately after preps. It was supposed to be a little one hour prayer. And some of these weak spirited people who are feeling sleepy would just tell them, look, go to your hostel and sleep. One hour it will become a vigil. I was made the timekeeper of the school in JS2. That was the level of the hand of God that was upon my life. Quarter to five, someone would wake me every day without fail. Quarter to five. That was when I started having encounters with this. I didn't even know that they were angelic encounters. Fifteen minutes on the dot to five. Tap me. I wake up. Father, help this generation. In the name of Jesus. Help us to be so consumed by the reality of the realm of the spirit. And the power that that realm wields upon this realm. All you see is not all there is. Hallelujah. So when you hear a word like you are blessed when you hear a word like doors be open many of us just say amen as a christian response to a man of god's prayer but a few people will believe god and take him literally and said when i said amen i said let it be so where is it oh god i said amen i expect an answer the last that i will give us and then we're done territorial advancement the last key let me five minutes and we are done the power are we ready the power of consistent results one of the kingdom keys allocated for dominating a territory is consistent results Let me tell you this. Consistent results shows that there is understanding. Consistent results show that there is knowledge. Consistent results show that mastery has been attained. Consistent results. Years ago, I started watching a man who would lift people off wheelchairs and crutches as though it was a joke. He would stand and look at them and just pray a simple prayer. Sometimes even be sarcastic about it and throw the wheelchair and throw the crutch and said walk. And that's the end of it. In, in about six years, he raised about 9,000 crutches and wheelchairs. His, his church is full of crutches around the church. I said, this is mastery. I must go down to see him. He was in South Africa. And I traveled. He's going to be with the Lord now. Prophet Kobus van Rensburg. I traveled to South Africa to meet him. And I met him and I told him why I was here. I was not there for, for pilgrimage. I was not there for entertainment. I was there for business. I said, I desire this grace. I desire it. It is a grace. 10,000 crutches cannot be mistaken. Many unbelieving members 
yet they were also raising crutches. You could see that they didn't have faith. Yet they would say walk and joke with it. You see, many times when the leader that you are under is carrying a grace, you will cheaply receive that grace. Listen, when you receive that grace and receive that dimension, many times you will see how cheap it works. Some of you here who are under this ministry and under this covering, you will go for meetings casually and just say, let's pray. Ah, the power of God is here and it will be as if you are acting drama. And even you, you have not really studied the dynamics of the anointing. Many people started getting prosperous in living faith before they read about prosperity. It was later they found out they were even sinners because they were not tithing. Yet they were still enjoying abundance. Say, okay, Lord, forgive me. Now I will start doing it properly. Some people were strolling and just saw prayer city. Prayer was going in. And they said, let me go and find out what is going on there. And from that day, they cannot sleep again till they pray. Because a grace came upon them. Let me tell you this. Results are governed by three things. One, light. Two, please listen. Results are governed by three things. One, light. Two, association. Three, graces. These are the factors that govern results in this kingdom. Never forget it. Light. The depth of the spiritual illumination you have as it pertains the area where you want to see results. Number two, association. God called Abraham and Lot went with him. And then number three, graces. If there is any area in your life where you are not commanding results, check for these three things. One, there is a dimension of spiritual illumination that you are lacking. Number two, there is a community of people with that grace that you have not honored. And number three, there is a dimension of grace that has not rested upon you. It is easy to produce results when you know the laws that govern them. Hallelujah. Do you know, let me tell you, as little as this thing, our, our time is up, as little as what I shared with you is, if you understand this mystery, my brothers and my sisters, there are dimensions that God has cheaply committed to this ministry. You will enter into it like a joke. You know, it pains me when I see certain graces that are so lavishly available, but there is no widespread testament of people who have entered that dimension. The knowledge you have, the spiritual understanding, number two, your association, not just in terms of friends, also the covenants, the tribe that you come under, that you are grafted into. And then number three, the graces that are upon your life. Any man who is exposed to these tripartite forces will be a strange man upon the earth. When I traveled to South Africa to meet Prophet Kobus van Rensburg, I'd wanted going to meet Robert Lerdan and then Charles and Francis Hunter. Unfortunately, I couldn't meet them. I sat down and I listed like an architect the graces that will construct the house. I listed them and I searched for the individuals that had those graces. Like a chef says, I need salt. Where do we buy salt? Sabo. Where do we? This is how I listed these graces. Like a bee. And I searched for them one by one. I was very, very foolish at a point in my life. I knew that wisdom would be part of the graces that I would need for my life and I would need for this apostolic office. I pursued Dr. Miles Murdoch and Bishop David Oyedeko. These were the two dimensions of, of wisdom that came to my life. I saw the wisdom of God at work in their life. And I said, this foolishness must end. I pursued that grace. I pursued it with all my heart. Are we together? Yes. Results. Whoever commands results becomes the leader. Whoever commands results becomes the force to reckon with. I submit to you that many of the dimensions that you see 
in my life and in this ministry they are not guesswork there is an exact knowledge that is back of them they will continue to be reproduced again and again when there is increase when there is the outstretched hand of God when there is favor there is prosperity when there is passion and hunger for God these are results please do not join the people who ignore results I'm wrapping up I know the rain is done but just, just be patient make sure as they are coming out they are still listening please you are going to pray for results listen to me I told myself God there is no need to be in ministry if I'm not producing results that you bear fruits and that your fruits abide much fruits some of you who are visiting this place for the first time will go back and know that God is here you met him it's called results the next time you come you will not come alone let me tell you empty pews are proof of lack of results it's an uncomfortable truth but it is true are we together in fact empty anything emptiness is proof that you do not understand the laws that govern you i knew i saw the way pastors used to raise money now please i'm not being sarcastic with all respect and all honor to men of God and the body of Christ. But I saw the way people were being manipulated to raise money. I saw the way pastors, birthday pastor, and I said, no, this is not Bible. But then I asked myself a question, how will you eat? And how will the ministry thrive? And then I said, I have to go to the word of God and find out. And then I found out that God can open a door for a man that no man can shut. I found out that there was an exactitude to the blessing of God. Let me show you one of the most recent scriptures I found. 1 Corinthians 29, 12. I apologize for wrapping up. 1 First, First Chronicles 29, 12. 1 Chronicles 29, 12. I saw this scripture in my dream. I was sleeping... And this scripture came and I woke up and I saw it and I rejoiced. I said, that means God is shifting me to another dimension. Both riches and what? Honor come from you. You reign over all of them. It's a dangerous scripture. Both riches and honor come from thee you reign over all and in thy hand is power and might look at all the things we need in one verse riches honor power might greatness strength god is the owner i saw it in my dream i went to sleep home and i saw that scripture i got up and i searched it i said this is this if this scripture were a clot, it would have faded by now. I prayed this scripture into my life. See, I stepped into the grace for favor when I prayed for favor for one month. That was my prayer request. Not for a selfish reason. Lord, a man can carry favor bodily. Let me be an example of it. Do you know many times when I pray these things, it's so that I will bring it and you will receive. It's not so much for myself. When I received the grace for long life, it, it was with speed. The day I was coming for Koinonia, it was as if I was going for my wedding reception. Give me a chance, let me stand. These people were singing and I couldn't wait for them to finish singing so that I would climb up. I came with a grace that I did not have. The grace for long life. You can carry graces like a fisherman. When you catch something and you push your hook, you draw it, force it out when you see what it is. This kingdom is a kingdom of deep mysteries. Deep mysteries. Deep mysteries. Hallelujah. Both riches and honor come from you. Thou reignest over all, and in thy hand is power and might. 
and in thy hand is to make great look god is the maker of greatness when god selects you to be great he selects you to be the face of a generation it doesn't matter who thinks what or does not think it god has chosen this ministry god has chosen us by the privilege of his grace to be one of the major pillars of what he's doing in this generation it's an honor we receive he made it so results we are going to pray we have to wrap up listen to me koinonia hear me my heart is pained if your life does not command results let it first start from your life then we'll start commanding results over territories was it not joshua that told the son to stand results there are results that can shut down a nation in one day a time will come kings will come to seek the counsel of god from us and say what is god saying he said kings will entreat your favor when god told me he would give me access to kings and i would speak to kings in this nation i believed him listen it's not pride in two weeks i'm going to be speaking to all the legislators in this country in a breakfast meeting all of them gathered in one place the international conference center and i will be speaking to them the counsel of god when god says it i believe it listen if this thing is not it's not it's not about a man i hope you understand what i'm saying results are powerful if you doubt results then what are you at results you must insist that my fig tree must bear fruit i'm tired of green leaves lord this fig tree must bear fruit he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water whose leaves does not wither is someone ready to pray please take two minutes blast in tongues and cry honor my life with results oh god results honor my life with results Please pray. You wait, you wait. Hello, you wait, you wait.
that will cause you to reproduce every result you see here. May that grace rest upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The grace that will bring you into strange dimensions. Wonder-walking dimensions of results. May that grace rest upon your life. I speak upon your life. Access to kings. May that grace come upon you. Access to kings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Access to kings. In the name of Jesus Christ. I have set before you an open door. I decree and declare the kind of influence that God can put upon a man. Influence is not a carnal desire. It is so that you can rise to a point where the nations can look up to your life. In the name of Jesus, the grace that can cause a generation to look at a man and follow Christ through that man. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. The grace for strange signs and wonders. Wonders of the Spirit. May that grace come upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every man who must honor and recognize what you carry, I speak to them by prophecy in this season and in the name of Jesus in this month of October, I command someone must celebrate your grace. Someone must celebrate what you carry for the sake of His Majesty. In the name of Jesus, I compel men to discern the grace upon your life. I compel men to discern the hand of God upon you. I compel men to discern the unction upon you. Father, we thank you for tonight. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let me pray one prayer concerning favor and your finances. Please allow me to pray it. God sees my heart. God sees how much I pray for you every time. There is a dimension of the blessings of the Lord that I want you to step into. And the reason is because it will give you the time to serve Him. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The wealth that comes by prophecy, I speak to your life. Carry that grace now. 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 I command your bands to be filled with plenty. I speak wine and oil to your treasury. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The kind of favor that the saints need to rise to the position of influence that will allow them to legislate on behalf of the kingdom. May the grace for that favor rest upon you. Enter into prepared blessing. Let me pray for you. Multiplied visions and spiritual experiences. hear me the spiritual blindness that stops your eyes from seeing what god is doing i tear that veil now i decree and declare everywhere you find yourself i compel the people there to look up to you as you look up to christ listen don't sit back doubting what you are saying. No. Every utterance is backed by the throne. I'm not speaking as a man. 
when God calls men, He backs them. And that every door you must enter in this season. Because we advance through the entrance of doors. I speak to that door. Let it be open for you now. Let it be open for you now. Indeed, it will be said about us that we are a people that the Lord has helped. Marvelously helped like Uzziah. In the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that our territory will come under the influence of your name and your grace. We will never give an inch of our territory to the reign of darkness and Satan. We will stand as watchmen until we see the reality of your power and your glory rest upon our land. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ten promises stopped the mouth of lions. Listen. The Bible says this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. What is faith? Your conviction, your depth of persuasion on who God is and the integrity of his person that convinces you enough to believe God and take action. You will need the audacity that faith brings to reign in life. Life is not for weak people. Life is not for risk averse people. Life is for men and women who are courageous enough to storm the gates of destiny. Ah, the Bible says that, listen, it said that Lot and Co were hijacked and captured. And Abraham said, What did I hear? You carried my cousin? Gather all the war men and let us go. Ah, courage. Courage. Faith. The righteous are as bold as a lion. That lion dimension is not supposed to help you harass people. The lion dimension is so that you will be able to stand in the face of situations and say you can bring your best shot, Satan, I will still be standing. It takes faith to build a church. It takes faith to start TV ministry that will bless people. It does not take money. It takes faith first it takes faith to raise your children we are a generation that is obsessed with guarantee give me a guarantee that you will be there for me there is no guarantee anywhere in destiny please hear me everybody say faith when god called me to ministry i called my father and my mother and I knelt down before them and I told them, God has called me all my life. I'm going to be busy serving the purposes of the kingdom. My parents said, God bless you. We bid you Godspeed. Go well. That's it. I'm not doing well because the church I was serving before did not give me money. No, sir. Listen, let me tell you this. Faith creates everything out of nothing. Did you hear what I said? Your house now is in your faith. The money you need is in your faith. Please learn the laws of faith. Faith is predicated upon a revelation that God is able. The ability of God and His integrity. Everything looks impossible till faith brings it. God will never tell you what you can do. You know you have had God when what he says is bigger than you. When God told me of the things that you'll be doing with this ministry around the world, when God showed me and told me the things that you... The power of faith. But I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. Lift your voice and pray. Everyone, please pray. Pray where you are. Pray from the depth of your heart. Shebaratu sali prahas kada balada barus. Shebros 
Kila Hassan dalla tu seli ki ashala bros. Embrage de la hasabra shila katabradia. Please pray from the depth of your heart. Shila barus hera balada baladush. Sabrande gade balato sabratia. Kaparatu kasa de bradi gade balada ba. Skiparu shala barunda sada bradi gade balada ba. Pray everyone you are praying in the spirit. Para tu sada pradege de balarabo. Balapu salabranda gada baladus, rata baratu sasia takata brandi gede baladaba. Arafa shuta baladaba gada brada gede baladabo. Sekete brada da baladaba ratu sade brada gede baladabo. Embrata katu brati sele brati gede baladabo. Shika barato sada brada gede balarabu, embrete ke la prasa da balato brada gede balarabu. Shala baranda kata pras gede balato sabra gede balarabu, embrata kapro sede belekete shala paria da balaraba, rapado sada branda gede balado. The sacrifice you are making for your destiny. The sacrifice you are making for his kingdom. Shikaruta Salabara. Two more minutes. Pray in the spirit. Abarada balaka ta pradegedesh. Skade barada balada prakota shada pradegede baladas. Emprata kaparuta shala pradegede balad.
Bala Busa La Brandi Gibi Bala Eketela Bradusa La Brandi Gibi Bala Rabala Rabu Ebaru Hasi La Bahasia La Bala Rabu Alleluia Alleluia Listen to me Forget about the temporary inconvenience that you are going through. You are building something for a generation. You are building something that will last. Rain will come and go, but what comes upon you comes and stays. Are we together now? Praise the Lord. Let's continue. The power of faith. Now faith is, the Bible says, the substance of things hoped for and the evidence the tangibility of things not seen hear me everyone you want to take over territories you will need to believe in god not believe in an uncle not believe in an auntie not believe in an asset not believe in an investment you need to believe in god God is able. I may not know how, but I know that he will build for himself what will bring him glory. Many Christians, and especially our generation, we don't command results because we truly do not walk our faith. We doubt everything and we do not take God at his word. I've given you a little story years ago when I used to bang those days with First Bank. Way before many of these facilities started coming that we now use to make banking easier. Then I would not have money at all in the bank. My faith was that rugged. I'm not saying do it. I remember those days I would pray and trust God for miracle alerts. And I would stand up and start trekking to First Bank. I would queue for hours believing because I read in my Bible what things soever ye desire. When you pray, believest that thou receivest it. I took it literally. Many times I didn't find anything, unfortunately. But I didn't realize that what I was gaining was more than the money. I was gaining the flexibility of my faith. The, the ability to believe God at His word. Let me tell you this. When you are walking with God, you need to believe God. There are times God will tell you, wake up and go outside. You will go outside and nothing will happen. He will just say, go back. And your going out was profitless. But your faith is being developed. The idea is not for you to go and see or receive something. The idea is an exercise of your faith. So that tomorrow when he says, take this nation. You say, Lord, I'm able. We are well able. Unbelief is dangerous. My only limitation in my life is the voice of God and time. My only limitation in life is the voice of God and time. Time that honors the law of process. If God tells me to walk through this crowd to that door, I will not even see that rain is falling. I'm on my way going. Whatever stands my way, the faith that God gives. Do you not know that faith is a shield? You can use faith as a shield. It's a wherein you will quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. You are not the first to be persecuted. You are not the first to be challenged by evil spirits. It will take your faith to command victory. We are a generation that loves impartation. And impartation is important. But let me tell you something. There are dimensions of destiny work that impartation will not bring. It's a well you have to dig by believing God. If I perish, I perish. When God spoke about koinonia, I believed Him. Enough to take action. When God spoke about the messages, being heralded by His angel, and taking it around the earth, I believed Him. Today we've seen all kinds of miracles over our teachings. You've heard some of them. That someone will buy a brand new flash drive 
from the place where he bought it and take it home brand new out of the cave slot it in and there are koinonia messages all how do you explain that that's what happened when faith listen you will never see the glory of god until you believe you will never see the glory of god until you believe while generation that is obsessed with guarantee before we move your only guarantee is the word of god the word of god everything god told me about ministry about destiny i believed him i still do i still do from the days when we could not afford bonds and could not afford a proper meal i believed that was a career of the blessing from the day when i could not pray for one person to be healed of headache i believed that his anointing was upon my life and i believed that he was going to use me we are going to pray one prayer i'm going to change my style of teaching now since there is rain i'm so happy for the rain because it will take away unnecessary formality and keep you to listen so now you are going to pray help my unbelief lord whatever it is that is killing my faith and not allowing me to trust you precious and god bless you it's a night of prayer and i wouldn't like you to give up on prayer keep praying day and night keep praying from wherever you are the workplace your office the school in that silent zone pray in the spirit just ensure you keep the atmosphere the flows of prayer constant jesus his ears are always open to hear you he that has an ear let him hear what the spirit is saying it is a communicative process that makes this reality become ours is because jesus is always interested in communicating to his church to his people as long as they are interested in listening as long as they are interested in talking to him don't forget Bible said Hannah prayed persistently. She prayed and Eli thought she was drunk. You can pray and even be uh, uh, in a wrestling position with that situation of yours until answers come. And he said, Lord, if you give me a son, I will give you a prophet. And you see, because he, she now understood what she really wants, knows really what she wants. So on that ground, bargain has to be done. This is hannah she prayed until there was a change don't give up god's word is coming to your life ensure you engage them ensure you become productive ensure they are fruitful in your life see to it that by prayer you engage them and they become your reality god bless you do well to subscribe stay in tune with us and share this video we love you so much god bless you